Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we're gonna mix a Netherland themed cocktail. <music> So today we are going to mix a Netherlands team cocktail in honor of Koningsgad. Koningsgad is the national holiday of the Netherlands and it happens on the April 27th when it's the birthday of their king. Now I'm not wearing anything orange because I don't want anything orange but well you will have to make with a blue stripe tie. The original idea for this cocktail came from the fact that I have so many distillates from the Netherlands and I think I wanted to pay tribute to all the merchants and travelers from the Netherlands that went all around the world and came out with such brilliant idea for liquors, distillate and such. So without further ado let's start mixing this thing. So we're gonna start with 22.5 milliliters of grapefruit juice pink grapefruit juice, I already measure it to speed things up and everything is pretty much going to be 22.5 milliliter or 3 4 4 an ounce. Then we go on with uh, 22.5 milliliter of Geneva. Geneva is of course the predecessor to the modern dry gin. It's just slightly resembling gin in my opinion. It has a bit of juniper but it tastes a lot more like new make of whiskey, like whiskey which is unaged and I really like its uh, funkiness. The same funkiness you will find in the Batavia Rock. Batavia Rock comes from uh, Southeast Asia but it's made in the Netherlands or it's imported in the Holanda in the Netherlands, comes at 40% and it's probably made from a mix of uh, fermentation from red rice and other stuff we don't know. Information on this stuff is really scarce but we can say that it has even more funky flavor than the Geneva and I really like it. It's almost like a Brahma Agricole like really heavy in those kind of flavors. And then for the last one the cherry herring. Cherry herring is uh, a cherry liqueur from Denmark, but if you read really carefully on the back, it's a produced for Peter Herring of Copenhagen in the Netherlands by De Kuiper. De Kuiper, of course, it's one of the biggest brands that make all kind of stuff in the liquor world. And we're gonna put 22.5 milliliter of this too. This cherry herring is uh, unlike Maraschino or Kirsch, Kirsch, the German cherry distillate. This is just some cherry that have been steeped into other kind of grain alcohol. And guess what? We're almost done. Just one more thing. We are gonna add not quite a teaspoon, let's say half a teaspoon of the syrup from a maraschino cherry jar and this is gonna on one side make jump out more of the cherry flavors of a cherry herring and on the other side it's gonna add that sugar that otherwise it's lacking from this cocktail. The only part of sugar will be in the cherry herring and we needed a bit more sugar. And I think this way we should be mm, landing in a right spot. So now let's get some ice. And let's give this a fair shake. Let's double strain it in our cocktail glass. I have this blend cooked today, which I quite like for this 
slightly bigger volume cocktail which are supposed to be served straight up but they are a bit bigger than a martini and such and uh, just one last touch let's express some orange peel in honor of the house of orange and let's drop it in and there you go a Netherland team cocktail for Kunisga which I hope I pronounce correctly I would like to call this cocktail the Predator and if you know the Predator the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger you will know why because he was called Dutch cheers This is surprisingly nice. While I was developing this cocktail, I started mixing the cherry herring with the Geneva, and it was not good. Not good at all. Then I added this rack, and it was still really poor. But when I added the grapefruit juice, everything turned around. And now, with the added extra teaspoon or half a teaspoon of a syrup from the maraschino jar it's really good what happened is that the tartness of the cherry came forward and on the other side the almond like flavors of the cherry herring also had a chance to express myself the funkiness of the arak and geneva it's kind of tamed down and complement uh, the cocktail really well. It's really nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with anybody you like, shake yourself a dream, maybe and do whatever you want. And hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. So tonight we are gonna... <laughs> tonight. <laughs> so without further of... The only part of sugar will be in the chair. Oh! The only part of sugar... A nether or tea... <laughs> Thank you to my one fan. Welcome to Julius Bar After Dark. Hmm. This is good.